So in today's video, I um, wanted to talk about the fear of loss, the fear of losing things in my life, the fear of losing people, the fear of losing particular, excuse me, situations. Again, it's security, it's comfort. Um, and, you know, like losing the respect of others uh, through doing things that may be classed as, as foolish or not the um, not the way that people see other people see that you should do things right um, and I'm aware that this this what has happened with this for me is is that it's caused me to really live life um, below the radar so to speak so it's it's caused me to it's caused me to live life a very diminished life and the way that I see that is with regard to my emotions, my feelings, it's in the past, I felt that there'd been a couple of nasty spikes, quite a few nasty spikes for me in feeling really bad and feeling really good. And my perception of those two is I can't link this to an experience at the moment, but I know how I feel. So that's what I'm going to describe. And so I've had dips in my life where I felt really shit and I've had peaks where I felt fucking fantastic. And in each time that those things have happened, um, I, I would just want to go forward and describe what the massive highs have meant because I think it's probably more relevant to this conversation than the massive dips but those definitely come in. So what I've experienced before, whenever I've had a massive, any massive high of any kind felt really good, is that there's always been this dramatic, this dramatic roll off downhill and into disaster. That's what I've felt. Um, and so my normal state has felt like, my normal state has been, uh, feeling crap all the time, not feeling very good, um, feeling depressed, um, thinking that that is my life, so on and so forth. And so the, the the peaks have felt like very almost alien events that don't happen very often, and that when they do happen, I feel like I have to cling on to those things. I felt like I've had to cling on to those uh, events. Um, because another event like that's not coming along because you don't get that sort of luck. You don't get to be happy. You don't get to be this. You don't get to have these emotions and these feelings. And if it happens, it's luck. And then launch into all this kind of you don't. And then afterwards, what happens is, it's like, you know, get this event, get this feeling. And then there's the, the thought patterns which go, well, you don't deserve this. You know, you this is not where you belong. You don't belong here because you don't deserve this. So then I've ended up giving it to, you know, giving maybe that experience to somebody else or events or whatever it is, it's gone to somebody else. And then I'm back to my normal state because that's been what's comfortable to me. Um, and so, I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of different things going on in that dynamic. Um, and I've kind of lost my train of thought a little bit, actually. I've gone a little bit off, not off track, but there's, there's a little bit of... Um, a little bit of haziness with that um but so when i there's there's massive peaks there's massive highs uh which the massive highs don't haven't tradition haven't traditionally happened very often um but it's all about really how you know how i, I have been thinking about those things what my normal state has been and to a degree what you're comfortable to what i'm comfortable with so even though I was, I didn't want to be miserable. I didn't want to be unhappy. And the events that were happening in my life um, were not what I wanted at all. In an odd kind of way, and it's going to sound weird, but it was comfortable to me. It was an environment that I was used to, that I could, I had some very limited form of control over. Because if I was always miserable and living beneath the radar, then I could never drop down to massive lows and feel like I'd lost everything or and so on and so forth. And so what I'm trying to get at is that I 
I've noticed in my life, and I've definitely noticed recently in more recent times, um, that I have a tendency to live, try and live beneath the radar, to try and live um, without these massive emotional dips and, and massive emotional peaks at the top because there's a belief in me that I will always lose um, if I get what I want, I will, I will always lose. I'll always lose it. I'll never be able to hold on to it. And again, that is to do with wanting to hold on to things, not things not change, and to keep things the same in order to feel safe. So, um, yeah, it's funny Live that living the um, living the life below the radar. It's like it, it, that. It's I, th I feel this is an issue for great many people because you're living life below the radar because you're trying to stop bad things from happening to you you don't want those bad things to happen you're going to try to do everything you can and the only way that we're taught is to to do that is to <clears throat> stick with things that we know um, change is bad and I don't want change to happen and I'm going to do the most I can to stop it from happening but you can't stop change because change is always happening nature's always changing like everything around us is changing that's the dynamic of the world it changes and, you know, to a degree, that's not under your control. But um, things, are, I mean, things are supposed to change. Of course they are. So um, with that, I think I'm going to end the video there because it's been quite long. But um, yeah, just living life below the radar all the time, constantly. And... Um, it's never served me and it never will and that's exactly what I am intentionally going to I'm spending my time now um, just reaching into what would it be like to actually not live life by those standards anymore to actually step out into what we might call the unknown and to take risks and see what happens and see if it really is that bad.